Welcome in everyone. It's it's good to see your faces. Hopefully I'm going to see them out at Ballmarker Stadium this weekend as well. How excited are all of you to finally get back to tailgating? It's so oh, great. <laughs> We've had to be without it for so long. Yeah. Um, when we got shut down, we thought, well, we'll get back to it before the season's over. And then it was, well, we'll get back to it in the fall. Mm -hmm. Holy smokes. Well, we'll get back to it next season and we'll be really big. And then we couldn't even do it this season a year later. It was really heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going on 14 months now, you know, Oof. and you know, many of us have been out there for 20 plus years. These people you see on the screen and their friends and family are our friends and family. And, uh, to, to go without getting together for 14 months has been a really big deal. So we're really pumped about the opportunity to do this this weekend. And we want to thank Hunter Yurchek and the game day operations staff for making this decision and allowing us to do it again, because this just kind of puts an uh, exclamation point on a great season. Yeah. How close are all of you friendship wise? We're all <laughs> I've been out. I grew up out there. Uh, yeah. Ben, of course, has been out there, Josh and everybody, Bobby, um, they've all been great. I mean, we've been doing this, what, since I was like eight or nine and just having fun. And this is family to us. I mean, to come yeah. back would, is amazing. It, ben, what about you? I, I, I just enjoy being a part of it. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. It's a big, been a big part of my life. Honestly, uh, my best friends in this world, honestly, are people that go to Razorback baseball. And so uh, we joke about it being a spring family and, and all that, but it, it's, it is, it's, it's, it's a family environment out there. We've, we've been doing this for a lot of years and, you know, and like I said, I mean, we just have uh, built lifelong friendships and through all this. Yeah. It's an awful, it's no, an awful lot it. of really good people. Yeah. I feel like that's got to be one of the best parts, though, about tailgating. Like, you know, some people just do it on occasion, but, but you guys are out there all the time. And so you get to know each other and build these relationships with each other. Uh, uh, Bobby, I don't know if you wanted to to talk a little bit about that and, and the friendships that you guys have. Well, a lot of this grew out of racing for the uh, uh, grills out in the hog pen before the students discovered the hog pen because all of us would go out there and hang out before the game, and then we pack up and go in the stadium. Once the students discovered the hog pen, we got together outside the stadium and started tailgating, and yet we were still close to these people, mm -hmm. and some of them, we were close to them even though we didn't know much about them. And over the years, like Ben said, they've grown to be some of the people that I'm closest to. Yeah. And, and Maddie, I want to ask you specifically because obviously barbecue is one of those staples out there. Like everyone sees it, every everyone knows it. Oh, what yeah. does it mean to to you to to be a part of that? I mean, being out there, starting like what Bobby said, starting in the hog pen and racing. I mean, I mean, no offense, Bobby, but y'all would stay like right there at the gate. We, you know, we'd wheel our wagon around, get that first grill because it was right there on the concrete. Everybody just raced for it. Uh, but being out there in the area where everybody sees parents come up, I mean, we get to know the parents. We love it. I love being out there. And this is this is my family. Going out there, growing up out there. I mean, Josh, look at Matthew. He's on the team, you know, was their manager. Yeah. And I used to, you know, play catch with him. We'd play baseball up front. And so seeing that and growing up with that, it's it's great. I love it. It, and also, Maddie, just like continuing that legacy with with the tailgate out there, what does that mean for you going forward uh, at, at the tailgates once they start up again? Oh, I'll be out there from Lord knows what time till it's over. I mean, <laughs> before, you know, Dad was always out there at the crack of dawn pretty much. And going out there and continuing this, is it's going to be great. I don't want to let it go. And then having my oh. daughter out there with me, that means so much more. Do you guys all go into the game at some point or, or does everyone just kind of hang out oh, outside? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, had to, just had to figure that out. We do make it into the stadium at some point. Okay. Yeah, we love our tailgate, but we're there for the game. 
The Ruby Q <laughs> tailgate always shuts down 20 minutes before first pitch at the very latest. We just don't leave don't anybody we out there. Well, well, also, I don't think that we was. Ever do. <laughs> no, never shuts down. <laughs> no, we don't. Um, well, that was kind of one of the questions. I've heard some stuff about the tickets getting moved around because of all this capacity stuff that's happened. And now, are, are, are you guys getting your seats back as well now that we're back to 100% capacity, or how's that working? So I think for the most part, you know, the tickets. What it looked like were, this morning was that everybody got the tickets that they had for the 2019 regional. Some of those regular se season tickets get moved because of the regional and the super regional, but the tickets that they had then uh, from everybody that I've heard, the postseason that tickets that we had in 2019, that's where we're going to be sitting for the regional and super regional. And Josh, I didn't know if you wanted to add, uh, add no, to that. I was basically going to say what Bobby said. That, okay. You know, tickets have been a challenge this year with the process of getting to, to attend select games and doing that again and over and over, then adding capacity. So that, that's been a challenge this year. And it's nice that most of us are finally back in our regular seats for the regional. Yeah, Ben, I saw you raise your hand over there. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> well, the, the seat that I've had for the last 16 years is – on the visitors dugout so i'm one of the ones that always gets moved and so i was looking at my tickets for for uh for the regional and for the super regional and i've obviously been moved um uh, you know we'll see what happens next year getting back to getting back to normal but yeah i mean i that's just something we've gotten used to over the years of having to get moved for uh regionals and super regionals so obviously, I, I got to get your take on on the team this year. I, I guess we'll just go around the circle, uh, Bobby. If you want to start off, um, it's a little hard to comprehend how excellent this team is, how much better, really, than everybody else in college baseball. This team is. There's there's eight national seeds. We didn't play Arizona. We have a winning record against the other six. That's kind of insane. Yeah. Um, it may not bode well because uh, odds are often the best team doesn't win, but this team looked pretty unstoppable. Maddie, what about you? What do you think? It's incredible. I mean, you take off so long and then you come back and you're ranked number one unanimously for weeks on end. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what goes on and, Hope for the best. I mean, that's all you can do. Hopefully, we take it all. I'd, I'd like to take it all. <laughs> <laughs> and Josh, take it would be great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think we'd all love for them to take it all. It, it feel like it's been a, a long time coming now. Josh, what about you? Well, you know, coming into the year, we really didn't know what to expect. We we thought we were going to be pretty good, but mm -hmm. so was everybody else because of all the kids that came back this year, the, because of the shortened draft. The teams were going to be so stacked this year with guys that either out of high school or as juniors last year would have gotten drafted and gone on to Pro Bowl that are back as seniors and entering as freshmen this year. Across college baseball, it's the most talent we've ever seen in college baseball. So we knew we were going to be pretty good, but so was everybody else. And then to open down at Arlington 3-0 and and then go down to Louisiana Tech in their new stadium, who was ranked at the time, and win down there, and then to sweep through the SEC 10 straight weekends, that's something that's only been done once before ever. You know, so we, have, we haven't seen a team perform like this. So it's amazing what they've done already. And we're looking forward to the four weeks we have left. Ben, what about you? Yeah, I'm, I'm always the uh, glass uh, half empty kind of person. <laughs> and, and so it's been real interesting as, as I watch through the season how even myself, I'm like, okay, you know, we're down, but hey, the sixth inning is going to come around and we're going to come back and, and all and and it's just been an amazing thing to watch and um you know things that i've never thought we would do you know uh winning every weekend not just the sec weekends but every weekend this season and winning the sec tournament which is something that has been very foreign to us um being the national number one seed you know of course that makes you a little nervous considering no no number one seed has won since you know 
1999. Uh, yeah. But hey, this is the team that, that has bucked the trend all year. So uh, who knows? It's it's been a it's been an amazing ride, though. I will say that. And, and also, guys, why baseball? Why why go tailgate out at baseball? I mean, you know, a, a lot of people tailgate for football and stuff, but but what's different about baseball? Interaction. It's a lot better. You get to know the parents. You get to know some of the players. Just being out there, and I like this environment more. It's what I grew up I think, watching. I played softball, so. I think from the early and, days, and you it's, know, it's it nice. Just, it's nice to be able to have some place to come back to after the game to let the traffic go ahead and get out of the way. And uh, I have to tell you, a lot of it is the people that are tailgating there. Mm-hmm. It, we're we're really really happy that uh, Hunter Juracek and the foundation decided to let us do tailgating for the regionals and the super regionals because really it's hard to go to all those games without a place to go to between games, before games, and after games. Josh, you want to go? Yeah, no, I was just going to say, you know, with us early on, I think what drew a lot of us to baseball was the relaxed atmosphere, the affordability for families to be able to go, and uh, you get three days of it. A football game, you're there Saturday, and that's it. In baseball, big conference weekend, you get Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, you get to be around your friends that whole weekend. And so I think that's it kind of grew there. And then the tailgates grew as Razorback Baseball grew. So do you guys just have, like, a big group text about, like, the, the plans for the weekend? Or how, how does this work? <laughs> it's our Facebook group. We just yeah. – somebody posts and said, okay, this is the menu for the day. Everybody brings sides, whatever – Josh yeah. has always been real good about telling everybody, okay, this is what we're having, you know, and then everybody just kind of elaborates on sides and whatever else we're bringing. Are, are, are we going all out for the first tailgate oh. is, is that the plan? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <Bobby is. laughs> as, oh, yeah. As, as out as we can do on this short notice. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see it. Please have a plate made. I, I will be stopping by. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> like, kidnap me from work. I mean, I'm oh, sure yeah. my boss would love me, but I told my CEO, I said, hey, we go to College World Series. I said, I'll see y'all in three weeks. But, right. you know, we'll we'll uh, see what he says. We were just but, yeah, some of you guys can kidnap me on Friday because I got to be at work till five. So, if I randomly disappear from my office, I don't know who's going to be responsible for it. So. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for doing this. I'm really excited to see all of you again out there this weekend at Ballmarker Stadium. Thank you. Thank you.